Hey everybody, hey, uh, I just wanted to say uh, thanks for watching this video. Um, I'm super excited. I catch my uh, my personal best uh, coho in this video, 10 points, four, 10 pounds, four ounces. Um, also, um, really quick, I just want to say, shoot me an email, um, northforklures at gmail.com. Um, I want you guys to start sending me some of your pictures of some of the fish you've caught this year. Um, I would like to put them in my next video. Um, anybody and everybody, I don't care if it's a trout, salmon, steelhead, perch, pike, whatever. Um, just shoot me your uh, pictures of fish. I'll put them in my next video, maybe uh, as an introduction or to the ending and credits of my video or whatever. But I'll put them in the video and, um, and uh, that way we can see what a year it's been for everybody. Um, it doesn't have to be the biggest fish, just a fish. That'd be cool. And also, I'm going to draw a winner from these pictures that I get on my email. And then the winner will also be able to choose from a bunch of prizes. So, um, if you want to see some of the prizes, you can look at my giveaway video. My last, uh, my two videos ago, I have a giveaway. I have some of the prizes in there, guys. But uh, send me some pictures, northforklures at gmail.com. Send me some pics with you with some fish and or a family member a daughter or son a wife it doesn't matter but just some fish pics that you've caught this year and i'll put them in my next video and i'll also draw a winner from those pictures to give you a cool gift so guys thanks for watching and uh enjoy Hey everybody, um, a wise philosopher once said, don't leave fish to find fish. Um, in all honesty, I don't remember who that was, but it stuck with me because it's true. Um, I've been fishing this same spot here um, in the Cowlitz for the last, this will be my fourth or fifth time and every time I've caught at least one coho. So we're just coming back here. Um, there's plenty of rivers in the great state of Washington that we could be going to right now, but uh, um, this is where it's at for us. It's close to home and uh, and they're ca I'm catching fish. I know the Lewis River on the North Fork. I hooked one last week and um, I lost it But uh, I'm just this is I'm more comfortable. I'm more at home here. So this is where we're gonna be fishing again um, Guys, thanks for watching stay tuned and hopefully Yesterday I got my biggest coho yet um, Hopefully today I beat that one, so stay tuned. Let's see what we get. Look at that, guys. Beautiful deer. Just swam across the Calix River. I think it is a little buck. Wow. You don't get to see that every day. And that's as far as my phone will zoom, unfortunately. I just saw a fish roll right there, right as I was filming the buck. A fish just rolled right as I was filming the buck.
caught a, a bite on my plug. First time I ever caught a fish. Back trolling. It works. All right. It's fighting. Just keep the tension. Okay, it's hit. It's in. You ready, Dave? It's only got one little hook. Oh, keep it in the water. I think that might be a native. Nope, it's a keeper. Pull it just like that. guys beautiful little it's a smaller one that's the perfect size right now beautiful hey can you whack it in the head with those pliers can i hit you in the hand like you did me no hey guys just landed a coho uh like i said in a previous video dave and i are pretty much rookies when it comes to fishing out of a boat uh, we just put it in here and now we're going for it you know it's been a few few times so far but uh, I'll tell you what I just did to catch this last fish um, so what we've been doing is we've been putting the boat in anchoring sitting there with the anchor out casting out of the boat and then what we'll do is we'll pull up anchor and as we're drifting back I'm back trolling um, a plug uh, back trolling a plug as we're drifting back to the next spot we're gonna anchor and doing that is how I just caught that last fish. So you're pretty much always fishing no matter what you're doing. Even when you're back, you know, you're drifting down river to set your next anchor, you're fishing. And that's, I mean, just caught a fish. Now that's the first fish I've ever caught back trolling. So it, it's not mo the most maybe successful thing you can be doing, but it's just one more thing you can be doing to be fishing. Um, and also take advantage of your two pole endorsements. I have that pole in the water the whole time we're fishing, just sitting there in the current, moving around. Um, and while I'm, you know, uh, casting off the boat, you know, that thing's moving. So anyways, that's one thing I just learned today, you know, and that's pretty much the first time I really can say that I successfully was back trolling. As we were back trolling, I was just laughing, telling him, oh my gosh, look at, I'm actually back trolling, because usually, I'm going too fast and the um, the uh, wobbler, the plug start just floats to the top. So it worked out this time. So cool guys, there's my two cents. I'm not sure it's gonna work again, but let's hope it does. Dave's got a fish, his first fish today. Now oh, he's- Oh, this is a big- Big boy? <sighs> you gonna follow your other- No, maybe not. Shit, dude. Shit, dude. Shit, dude. I see it. I see it. Get it over here. Oh, I'm trying. Net. Net. You ready? Yeah. Coming at you. The pink jig caught it. Look at that. She's not happy. Did you get it out of its mouth yet? Okay guys, no. I wanna give you a little something on what I'm using here for my fishing pole. So my Lama glass blow, broke a few uh, weeks ago and I've been too lazy and too cheap to get a new pole and get it fixed. So what I caught those last two, four, five, six coho on is this pole right here, Shakespeare ugly stick six six and i'm using the uh i believe it's a shimano reel no it's abu garcia an abu garcia reel uh or aura o-r-r-a s four zero to make it even more kind of weird is I have a, another tip on from another ugly stick way older. So I got two separate poles and I, was, I built this for a twitching pole because I know you like, they're supposed to be kind of short and kind of stiff. 
um, and I've been using it for twitching and I've been slaying it, man. Every fish I've caught has been on that fishing pole. So, must be something. It's my good pole. I'm going to keep it around for a while. Oh, fuck. Dave just got his second. He hooked his second one. I got the pole ready. I got the pole ready. Don't you worry. Poles or the nets ready. Let's get this guy in here. Ooh, that's a hogger. Oh no. Oh, there it goes. You ready? Yeah. Got him? Yeah. Is it a native or? Well, Dave just caught his biggest second salmon yet. Oh, shh. Should we throw anchor out, Dave? <laughs> we got all excited. We've been drifted and we didn't even think about it. Are we drifting? We're drifting. We're drifting. We would have ended up in the middle of who knows where. Here, I'm going to let it swing around. Okay. All right, they just got this. You want me to bonk it? That's that's a good size uh, coho, man. That's what I'm saying. Hi, Dave. Hi, Dom. Hey, you know what? What? You don't have your finger on the camera. <laughs> That's a good one. Dave, Dave.